Welcome to another episode of Cravings Vlog. I'm Karen Ahmed and today we're making a mac and cheese fit for a king. We're going to prepare my Maharaja's mac and cheese. This is made with a very simple chicken curry base and I'm going to embellish it with mushrooms, smother it in cheese and it's going to be ooey gooey delicious. This is a great way to introduce some new flavors to your kids. The chicken curry base is not spicy at all. I've added some mushrooms. You can add any kind of vegetables you want. And all I'm gonna do is smother it in cheese, boil some regular macaroni noodles, put it all together, put it in the oven, bake it off, and they're going to enjoy it. You can also serve this to your adult friends. And you can switch up the cheese, you can switch up the vegetables. It's just so versatile. So, let's get started. I've got a pot of boiling salted water and all I'm going to do is I'm going to boil some regular elbow macaroni noodles. I've got about 300 to 400 grams and just boil it according to the package instructions. And then we're going to move on to sauteing the onions. So I've got half a red onion, I've got some hot oil in a pan and we're just going to saute it for one or two minutes. Once the onions are nice and brown, let's add about 8 ounces of boneless chicken. Now this can be breast or thigh, doesn't matter, it's your personal choice. And next we're going to add some spices. So I've got a teaspoon of cumin powder, a teaspoon of coriander powder, and half a teaspoon of turmeric. Now turmeric is really, really good for you. And it also gives a beautiful yellow color. If you're using boneless breast, this shouldn't take too long. Probably just a minute or so. Next, I'm going to add a cup of chopped mushrooms. I've just used some regular baby bellas, but you can use any kind of mushrooms that you like. In fact, if you have adults over, you can use cremini, oyster, any kind of fancy mushrooms that you can find. Let's give this a stir as well. I'm going to add some salt. And I've got one and a half cups of heavy cream. After about a minute or so, you'll see the cream coming to a boil. Now it's time to add the next ingredient. If this wasn't decadent enough, we're going to add 250 grams of softened cream cheese. And that's going to make this whole Maharaja's mac and cheese completely ooey and gooey. So just squish it in and let it meld with the rest of the gravy. The macaroni is perfectly cooked. It's al dente now and I'm just going to add it into this luscious Maharaja sauce. Mix it up. Oh, look how delicious that looks. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add about a cup of shredded cheese. I actually have three cups. I'm going to use one cup in the mix and then I'm going to cover the rest of the mac and cheese with the reserved two cups. You can use any kind of cheese. I've used a combination of mozzarella and cheddar, but feel free to use any kind that you like. Asiago, Parmesan, whatever you like. I'm going to add a pinch of red chili flakes. This is totally optional. If you have small kids at home who can't handle spice, you probably want to avoid doing this. But my boys are very brave, so they can handle it. 
Give it a good mix. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spoon this into an oven proof dish. I'm going to cover it with cheese and in the oven it goes for 20 minutes at 350 degrees and we're ready to serve it. The Maharaja mac and cheese is out of the oven and as you can see it has a beautiful color and when you cut into it, it's just ooey gooey delicious. And my little Maharajas or my little kings can't wait to eat this. So thank you so much for joining me. See you next time on Cravings Blog and please do subscribe to my channel at youtube.com slash cravings blog. I'm always trying out new recipes and I'd love you to join me on my food adventures. So, see you soon.